Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Hardcore Minecraft Take 3. My last, we left the Avatar, we gave up on making a village for the time being, and decided to explore a new land. We found a very big landmass here, and I think that is another mushroom biome in the distance. There's only one way to find out, and that is to go over there and check it out, which is precisely what we're going to do. Come along, Emerelda 2. We just need to hug this very large hill, and we'll be there before we know it. There's a lot of land we need to explore, and I do not mind that at all. We're going to go this way just to be a little bit thorough in our exploration, and so that we don't uh, have Emerelda 2 sink. Jump over here. And quickly go this way, down and closer, hugging the edge of the land wherever we can to explore that little bit more. Also, that I thought was a uh, floating bit of dirt. Nope, it's just a uh, pillar of dirt. That is far more likely. Then again, float. Ooh, we have a ravine here. We are not going to fall into that. That would be a very quick way to end everything, and that would be rubbish. We're going to... It is another mushroom uh, biome. Oh, we are getting hurt by the uh, berry bushes there. That's no good. This is another uh, mushroom area. Wow! Two of them! That is amazing! There are many advantages to uh, having a home in a mushroom area. The main one being that uh, enemies don't really spawn in this place. And look at it on the map, it is a vibrant purple. I wonder if this is... Ooh, is this actually the same mushroom area as the one we've already discovered? It might be. Maybe it's not two mushroom areas, but instead, the same one that I've discovered again, connected up to the land. But either way, this is still a great um, thing to map, because I've never mapped a mushroom area, and it's purple. Wow. This might be the area? I think it might be. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. It, it could be. But either way, it's good to have it on the map. They're not very big, as you can see. Compared to the uh, other biomes that I've encountered, this place is exceptionally small. And there are um, areas beneath. There can be cave systems beneath uh, mushroom biomes, and monsters can come from them. But it's still... Uh, wow! I've never had one on the map. That is such a rich purple- Ooh, ow! That's never happened before either, losing health to, uh, having my head stuck in a mushroom, but, uh, such a rich purple. So if we ever want more, uh, mushroom cows, we can get them. We can just, uh, gallop over and find them. Also, there is a hole in the ground there. Not such a big fan of the hole in the ground. I do, however, want to keep exploring this way. There's a little bit more land over here that I would like to check out. And there's a lot of water, but I was expecting a fair bit of water. Not as much water as the other maps, though. And by maps, I mean the uh, initial map that I made, which was basically a smaller version of the map that I currently use, and the uh, map I currently use. And while I'm thinking about... Uh, Things I should eat, because that hunger bar has been drained quite a bit from the damage that I've taken. Right. We'll get this back, and carry on. As there's still a little bit more land to explore, though not a huge amount. There's land over there. There is a turtle over there. Good to know that that is there, but I think we are done with exploring in this direction. And there are some wolves, and a small area here. Good to know. Now let's head back, jumping over here again, and inevitably needing this, and uh, I'm glad Emerald 2 did not disappear into the void. That would have been a little bit awkward. Come along. Marvellous. And we'll keep exploring uh, this time up, following the edge of the map, as best we can. And for that, we're going to have to do a bit of swimming, I think. 
so many mushrooms. I don't think the uh, other animals will spawn here. I think it literally is just those cows. So you'd have to bring in other animals, but that wouldn't be too difficult, especially considering how close uh, a normal uh, biome in comparison is. Okay, we will go this way, and we will go around and see some floating rocks. You see them far more often than- Ooh! There's a fox there! That is the first time I've ever seen a fox! Ever! Oh, and it's asleep on the tree! Ah. Better leave it be, it's uh, probably quite scared of us. Now I know that uh, foxes can sometimes have emeralds. And you uh, coax the emeralds out of their mouths by giving them some of the berries. And we do have some berries should we uh, decide to do that, but I think uh, I'm just going to be happy in the fact that I have found some foxes, the first time I've ever seen them, and carry on. It's not actually going to be that long... Uh, from a time of recording before uh, the next major um, content update is put out, including bees. So exploring about here might not be the best idea, considering that uh, I then have to travel even further afield to find bees. But maybe it's a good thing that I have to travel further afield to find bees, because uh, I'll probably get killed by them knowing my luck. Gives people time to figure out exactly what the uh, lowdown is with the bees, although, that said, I think they've been on the uh, test uh, release for quite a while, so people have probably already figured that out. This is a very mountainous area. Oh, it's very mountainous. This is going to make exploring around here quite tricky, so I'm actually going to... Ooh. I'm actually going to take the, uh, the less steep way down and go around this way. There we go. Much safer. Much less likely for uh, me to lose loads of health and perish. That purple. Such a rich purple. I keep saying that, but it's something I've never seen before on a map. I have seen them before, but uh, never really mapped them out. Okay. That's as far as we're going to get over there. It is starting to get dark, so we need to think about uh, settling down for the night. Shouldn't be... Uh, Difficult here. There are no enemies about at all. This would be another pretty decent area to uh, start off a home. Loads and loads of hills and places to mine. Wouldn't be too bad. Right, we are going to rest over here, because why not? And where... Okay, you have disappeared again. I'm going to see if... No, I'm not going to see if uh, resting makes a difference here, because I have a feeling that resting will just make you vanish. And quite appropriately for uh, the horse disappearing, that is the uh, selection of words there. There you are. I have no idea why you keep vanishing when I uh, disembark. Is disembark the right word? I suppose it technically is. I am glad I know how to get you back, but that is... A little troubling. Very troubling, actually. Okay. We've got you back at least, so we can keep exploring. Oh my, that is quite a, uh, quite a drop. That is all caused by the river, I believe. The river is, uh, cutting... Oh ho! We have a village, everyone! Marvellous, and it is quite a distance away from, uh, the, uh, home base, but... I like seeing villages. The only question is, how am I going to get to that village? And the answer is, uh, extremely, uh, carefully. Go down here, then down here, and then here, and then over here? Yeah, that'll do it. That'll certainly do it, but, uh, my, you guys make it tricky to come and see you. Okay. What do we have here? First, we- Oh! What we have is we have a minor problem because there is a zombie! Hello, thee! We'll protect you, don't worry! You are safe now. Ooh, there are a few interesting uh, 
professions here. We have an armorer. Hmm. Right, let's see uh, what loot there is here to be had. Nothing here. Okay. And nothing here. You have a good supply of water here, though. That's quite neat. You have hmm, various things here that are growing. I don't know what those things are. And there is the golem. Golems are going to change a bit as well, I've been told. Uh, they're going to have a few... Uh, I've already been in this building, haven't I? Either that, or there are two people with that profession. That could be quite likely. You have no profession. What are uh, you doing? You're offering uh, wheat for emeralds and beetroot for emeralds. Fair enough. There are quite a few big houses here. Anything in here? Nope. Anything in here? Nope. It's like they knew... Hmm. Methinks you have a minor problem, and that is that there is a big hole in your village. I'm sure you'll deal with it eventually. Nothing here. We're doing really poorly for uh, loot. And this is a two-story house. I don't think I've ever seen a two-story house before. Anything nice in here? There's loot. It's not great loot, though. We have bread, we have saplings, and we have a flower. Finding the village is actually uh, more than I could have hoped for, though. Finding villages is always good. There is a hole here with a zombie. Fortunately, the zombie is going to burn. You really shouldn't come out. Look, you came out and look what happened. Now you're burning. And now you're gone. Ooh, you dropped carrots as well. Marvellous. This place is actually in quite a lot of peril, because look at all of the holes in the walls uh, around the uh, buildings. This place will get attacked quite a bit. There is a building here that is, uh, shall we say, a little difficult to get to? But I made it, and there's nothing cool in here. And nothing cool in here either. Not doing very well on the loot front. There's also a building all the way up there that we're going to be uh, checking out. Is there a way to get... Yes, there is a way to get up, and it's this way. And is there anything up here worth finding? There's a balcony. And that's it. Okay, so uh, in terms of loot, we uh, haven't done so well here. There really is nothing. There are those buildings all the way up there, though, and I'm tempted to go and check them out. Replace tempted with going to check them out, because, uh, we do want something. Okay, what have you got? Well, there's a tiny bit up... There's a huge amount of hay here. You don't mind if I have one, do you? No? Excellent. What's in here? No loot, which leaves that building there. I think I'm going to call this Perilville, because these people are in a huge amount of peril. I mean, there's lava right over there. There are also some buildings over here. I wonder if this is actually two villages right next to each other. Hmm. Makes you wonder. Nothing here? This might be two villages close to each other, and this village is sort of being flooded a bit by water, but that's fine. Okay, that is the place for a Fletcher, which is nice. We haven't found the Fletcher yet, but, uh... Ooh, this door's already open. I haven't been in this one. And there is a Leather Worker. Nice to see you here. And just some bread. It's like someone has already come here and taken everything, but they haven't, because I haven't been here yet. Bread and a feather and a flower? There really isn't that much here. And another building, which has a tiny bit of a rug there. And up here we have just that balcony that's going to lead nowhere in particular. Fair enough. Is there anything over here? Any more buildings, maybe? The answer is no, but there is a chicken! 
So I think we have Peril Town and Disasterville, because, uh, this spawning was a bit of a disaster, while the other one is in tremendous amounts of peril. I'm pretty sure these are two completely separate villages, because, uh, one of them is on a much higher elevation than the other. Still, nice to find. Very nice to find this place. And there's lots and lots of hay everywhere. And I want to be careful. If I drop into the water... That was not the water, me. <laughs> that was anywhere but the water. If I drop into the water, I'll be fine. Instead, I'll drop here. Oh dear, my legs. They appear to have broken. It's okay, though. We can heal the damage to our legs. I'd love to stay, but uh, we have places to go. Also, you don't mind if I take this, do you? No? Great. I'm gonna have this bell, because, uh, bells are expensive. They cost a lot of emeralds, and I'm sure you don't need it. You probably needed it. Also, that, uh, well there, that well is a problem. There are probably gonna be lots of villagers in that well before things are done. Don't fall into the hole, me. Now, you could keep exploring this way, or we could go that way. I'm actually going to go this way for now. There are lots of horses about as well. Lots and lots of horses. The bell, by the way, uh, has a really good function. If you ring the bell, all villagers will immediately rush into their homes. This is so that uh, if something terrible happens, you can protect the villagers. And I like that. They are sold by uh, various um, villagers. I think the, uh, the armorsmith sells one and the toolsmith, but they are extremely expensive. We're talking... 32 to 37 emeralds each. You do only need one per uh, village, and you often want to take it. Well, that's not what I wanted to have happen, but we'll deal with it. Um, ooh, there is a, a ravine there. That's definitely a place I do not want to go to. I actually want to get out of here as quickly as possible. There we go. And this uh, tree appears to have just been sliced in half. Hmm, curious. Don't really find uh, trees that spawn like that. But anyway, uh, you do want to uh, see if you can get a bell without buying one. That is the only way to get a bell without buying one, as far as I know. I mean, you can get discounts on um, the purchase of the bell, but it's still going to be extremely expensive, unless you uh, get a humongous discount. And the only way to really do that is through raids, and I don't want a raid to happen anytime soon. Also, these trees. These trees are a bit of a problem because they are everywhere and they are making traveling about difficult. But we're on top of them now, so you could say we're on top of the problem. Ha <laughs> ha Never mind, let's keep exploring. You do get a uh, good sign of uh, just how many trees there are in an area, though, by walking on top of the uh, tree line. I mean, this is a... <coughs> I was about to say this is a huge quantity of trees... And then I fell through the tree line. Something you've always got to be careful of. Can happen. And there is Swampland over there. Don't really want to see Swampland, but it is there and we just have to deal with it. I'll explore that a little later. On the boat, most likely. Don't have a boat right now, could easily make a boat. Don't want to make a boat. Okay, and down here we go into the water, which means we won't take any fall damage. It is starting to get dark. And we were actually able to dismount off my horse without the horse disappearing. I'm going to take that as a win. And I'm going to eat another bit of bread. At least we got some bread from the villagers. And that's a plus. We've explored quite a bit of uh, land here. And we have found that village. And that... uh biome with the mushrooms. I'm pretty sure now that that is the place that uh, we found before, but at least we've now mapped it. And that's good. In fact, it most likely is that place. There we go. We will carry on exploring for a uh, little bit more. There's still a fair bit more that we can see. Mainly up here. So if we found another village, and that was a zombie there for sure, I heard that, uh, that sort of squelchy sound, that was a zombie coming to get us. No thank you on that. 
So if we found another area with a village, we could actually have three villages in one map area. Completely uh, dispelling my belief that you can't have that many villages. Okay, that's there. And if we go to the edge here, we're going to find a bit of floating dirt and a cow. That's fine. Cows are fine. And uh, Emerelda 2 got a little bit stuck there. And the tree line is getting a little bit thinner. Not too thin, though. And we'll just get into a small clearing. If, that is, we can find a small clearing. With all the trees about, that might be a little bit tricky. But we have nearly got to the edge of this map. And what do we see? Oh, more ocean, everyone. You miss the ocean? Well... Here's some more of it. Absolutely loads of it. Water, water everywhere. And not a boat to sail. And so, when we come back, folks, we will continue to do some exploration. I think we're going to uh, try and follow the top part of the map as best we can, and then go all the way around and head back home. It's a long journey, but I would like to see roughly what we are dealing with. Need to be a little bit further up here, like, say, here. Actually, we can just go around here. Seems great to me. And so, folks, I'll catch you next time, and I'll see you then. Later. At least exploring on the land means we're not finding many shipwrecks, though when we explore around the water, I'm pretty sure we'll stumble across a couple. And then the underwater spelunking will begin, and hopefully it won't end in our horrible doom. Oh, who am I kidding? It's probably going to end in our horrible doom, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. Later.